All right. Watch out. Uh -oh. Come up for you, Rudy. Do not if you try. Yo, it's the Alabama Rock Grabber, aka Glassback Cunningham over here. <laughs> Reporting in post back injury number what three of the past year or something like that. This one being a little more serious, but not too bad. Um basically like an hour after that barrel flipping workout, I literally just like sit down and cross my legs. <laughs> on the couch and I feel like my uh, my back like slip dude my pelvis totally shifted to the right and up and caused a uh, pretty bad back spasm as my uh, you know back musculature tried to compensate and fix it which it couldn't because literally my bones had like I guess dislocated for a fraction of a second and popped back into place and that was pretty freaking painful as you can imagine um, you know, first 48 hours sucked. I was pretty immobile. Uh, today I'm feeling a lot better. I can, like, move around a little bit. The only thing that hurts a lot is sitting down for long periods of time, so that kind of blows, because I work at home, and yeah, I'm either standing or sitting, you know, so that's been pretty tough. But, uh, you know, for an injury, for a back injury, it's not too bad, honestly. I mean, look, I can move around and stuff, you know what I mean? I'm not totally immobilized or anything. And there's still stuff I can do. Like, I've been doing some uh, corrective exercises and stretches my doctor showed me. And some I've uh, kind of made up for myself that I call, like, uh, pissing dog exercises. <laughs> Where I'm basically trying to, like, hike my opposite hip up to compensate for that uh, that hip being out of whack, so I'm trying to like get into positions that kind of do the opposite thing, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, man, apparently, according to my chiropractor and the uh, x-rays he took, I'm genetically predisposed to uh, just having like back problems because I believe it was my L3 is uh, is malformed in some like weird you know, genetic thing, you know, some people have crooked eyes, I've got like a crooked uh, L3 disc apparently, so it makes sense, dude, because pretty much all my life I've felt lopsided in my hips, and uh, I've apparently exacerbated that by, you know, lifting heavy. <laughs> mm. So I'm probably not going to be lifting, uh, you know, crazy weights anymore. Um, and definitely in the, uh, you know, the near future or whatever, I'm going to be doing a lot of bodyweight stuff. And uh, I'll continue climbing, obviously, because that is fun and stuff. I've been loving that lately. And, uh, yeah, I figure that most of what I'll be doing exercise-wise in the near future is going to be just correcting this imbalance, trying to alleviate it and whatnot. And, uh... I'm kind of excited for it <laughs> in a weird way because, uh, you know, this injury could have been way worse, honestly. You know, and I'm glad that now I know I have this weird back issue that I'll be dealing with the rest of my life. 
and have been dealing with without even knowing it. So now that I do know it, I can, you know, really attack it and kind of uh, deal with it and overcome it and stuff like that. So that's really cool. And uh, yeah, man, shit happens. You know, I'm glad I'm not fucking paralyzed or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, it's not too bad. You know? What else? What else? Uh, one thing I've been thinking about and writing about lately is getting back into like this martial arts or kung fu kind of mindset. You know, yeah. If you ever seen these old kung fu movies like uh, One Armed Swordsman and stuff like that, you know, <laughs> you got this or like uh, what's another one? Uh, crippled Masters or whatever. These guys, uh, you know, are crippled in some way. And so they just train their bodies to, like, overcome it, that kind of thing. So <laughs> that's going to be me, like, the uh, probably the rest of the year, just uh, working on the left side of my body a lot more than the right side of my body so I can kind of correct this uh, discrepancy in my hips and uh, lower back and whatnot. And, uh, you know, one principle in martial arts that I've always thought was cool, but I never really... <laughs> actually implemented it or applied it to my training too often is this concept of you know making your weaker side as strong as your strong side and um you know there's also this concept of making your arms as strong as your legs and then your legs as uh coordinated and flexible as your as your arms and stuff like that so i'm probably gonna get back to that kind of mindset and just you know <laughs> Maybe skipping some leg days, but that's, you know, <laughs> nothing out of the ordinary for me with my skinny ass. But, uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be fun. Um, you know, I'm kind of excited in a weird way to uh, train in a different manner. I think it'll be interesting. So, anyway, hope you're all doing okay. End of rant. Take it easy.